Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this concept, isolated essential singularity. We are familiar with this the concept of singularity. Three words are there. Getting, we will discuss all these uh, words and their meanings one by one. Singularity means a point where the function is not analytic. Generally, we find the point where the denominator will be zero, and we say at that point the function is not analytic. So that's why it's a singularity. We have already seen in our second video. Next point is isolated. Isolated means separate, separate. If singular points are away from each other, we call them as isolated singularity. And non-isolated, that means singular points are very close to each other. We cannot make them separate. So in that case, we say th those are non-isolated singularity. So here we are discussing one type of isolated singularity, which is isolated essential singularity. So let us discuss its definition. Okay. So suppose Z naught is any singular point. Let me mention if Z naught is a singular point of f of z. So it's a singular point of f of z. Okay, so again, I'm going to talk about its Lorentz expansion and the Lorentz expansion expansion of f of z about z is equal to z naught is its Lorentz expansion is f of z is equal to summation in running from 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught raised to n. So you know that this is the analytic part of Lorentz series. Plus now I'm going to write the principal part b1 upon z minus z naught plus b2 upon z minus z naught square b3 upon z minus z naught cube plus and so on bn upon z minus z naught raised to n plus b n plus 1 upon z minus z naught raised to n plus 1 and so on. So if uh, Lorentz expansion of f of z at z is equal to z naught is like this. This is the analytic part and this is the principal part. In principal part, infinitely many terms are there, getting infinitely many terms. That means many, infinitely many bns are non-zero. Okay, it is not terminating anywhere. In that case, we say it's a isolated essential singularity. Okay, so let me mention that is, that is principal part let me mention principal part of this series is is not terminating terminating that is infinitely many bns are non-zero okay so there are infinitely many bns which are non-zero then we say then z is equal to z naught is isolated essential singularity okay so getting the point when we say it is isolated essential singularity, okay, in most of the types of singularity, we find the Lorentz expansion. So here also we talk about the Lorentz expansion. We are finding the Lorentz expansion of f of z at z is equal to z not having two parts, analytic part and principal part. In some, uh, you, in previous video, we already seen in some cases, uh, principal part is having only finite number of terms. But see here, principal part is having infinitely many number of terms and that in uh, principal part is not terminating anywhere okay it's not finishing there are infinitely many terms infinitely many bns are non zero then we say it is isolated essential singularity let us discuss one simple example so the concept will be clear to you just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us discuss this example sin 
1 upon z minus 1. You can easily see if I put z is equal to 1, you will get 0 in denominator. So that's why z is equal to 1 is a singular point. Let us find the Lorentz expansion. So we are familiar with the series of sin z. What is series of sin z? It's z minus z cube by 3 factorial. This is very standard series, okay? Okay, so same series I am going to use for this one. Simply at a place of z, we have 1 upon z minus 1. At a place of z, what we have? 1 upon z minus 1. Let us use to expand in this way. So 1 upon z minus 1 minus 1 upon 3 factorial is there, getting? But z cube, that means this bracket cube. So you will have 1 upon z minus 1 cube plus next term will be 1 upon 5 factorial into 1 upon z minus 1 raised to 5 and so on. Okay, so this is Lorentz expansion of given function f of z at z is equal to 1 since z minus 1 appears everywhere, getting? So what is the analytic part? What is the analytic part here? In an analytic part that z minus 1 bracket will appear at numerator, but there is no any term having that z minus 1 at numerator. So there is no any analytic part. So the entire part is a principal part. Principal part that means that bracket z minus 1 appears in denominator. Okay, in each and every term you will find the bracket and its power at denominator. So this is a principal part. How many terms are there in a principal part? Infinitely many terms are there in a principal part. So that's why that principal part is not terminating. It's not terminating. It is not finishing anywhere. So that's why it's a isolated essential singularity. So there are infinitely many terms in principal part of a series. Therefore, z is equal to 1 is isolated essential singularity okay so in this way we proved that z is equal to 1 is isolated essential singularity of a given function f of z make a screenshot of it then we will stop okay we will meet in next video thank you see you